Welcome to Paige's Lessons, a podcast dedicated for those who seek advice and wisdom on how to become the best versions of themselves in the most authentic way. If you identify as someone who is ambitious, goal-driven, and a badass, you've come to the right place. Self-reflection, mental health awareness, and exploring life's transitions is at the heart of our conversations because I truly believe every single day provides a lesson. I'm your host, Paige Mitchell, a board-certified life coach, motivational speaker, and mental health advocate. I can't wait to share these golden nuggets with you. I'm super stoked to be talking about this episode because we're going to talk about Coke. No, not the Coke that you're thinking of, you dirty mind. I'm talking about Coca-Cola, okay? This is the Coke theory that I am trademarking. I made this shit up because <laughs> because I'm weird like that and I like to trademark things. Um, go back to um, a few episodes earlier. It's uh, the delivery guy method. I made that shit up too. But today we're going to be talking about the Coke theory. And this is going to help you tremendously with your confidence. This is going to help you with just owning up to your shit, owning up to your preferences, your needs, and your desires, and being so confident that this is fucking it, and I'm not settling for anything less. So let's dive right into it. Now, let's just do a backstory real quick. Uh, Growing up, I was not allowed to have soda. We didn't have it in the house. Um... But then eventually, like, you know, when I started eating fast food and I would get, like, Dr. Pepper and eventually, you know, I I got soda on my own and I never liked Coca-Cola. I really didn't. I thought it was bitter. I didn't understand the hype. And then even into, like, my 20s, I was like, ew, Coke is gnarly. Like, I don't want this. I don't know what switch, like I can't pinpoint to you the day that I turned into a Coca-Cola freak, but um, whatever, it happened, right? And I guess it's semi-recently, but maybe a couple years that I was like, no, Coke is it. Like this is, this is what I'm about. And so this Coke theory came up because I was with a friend and we were at a restaurant it was a beautiful restaurant it's overlooking the ocean and her and i have the same love of coca-cola like we're both on that same standard right it's a it's a fucking standard now and i guess let me just interrupt myself and just say like before i continue when i say coca-cola I want you to interpret that for you, whatever that is, whether that's coffee, some other beverage, a certain food, whatever. Like Coca-Cola right now, the Coke theory is just meant for something that you prefer and that is your standard. So I'm with my friend. We're at this amazing restaurant, beautiful views, loving the vibes. Um, I go to, I ask, you know, I, I look at the waiter and they're already serving this like ice cold drink. And I was like, Ooh, a Coke sounds amazing right now. So the waiter comes and says, Hey, you know, what can I get you to drink? And I say with full confidence, I would love a Coke, please. And they say, I'm so sorry, ma'am. We only have Pepsi products. Is that okay? I immediately without fucking hesitation, stare the waiter dead in the eyes and say, absolutely not, I will have a water. My friend is cracking up at this point, like just the conviction I have in my voice, the certainty, the deep knowing, I will not fucking have a Pepsi, are you kidding me? That is a, that's a joke, right? And then um, we go on this rant that Pepsi shouldn't even be fucking allowed like how dare companies continue to order pepsi like we need to be running pepsi out like get out of here pepsi why are why why are you still around like this is bullshit so i bring this story up and the coke theory is just about whatever it is for you for me it's coke 
I can walk into a restaurant, know exactly the craving, the desire. I want Coca-Cola. I want an ice cold drink. Better if it's in a can, right? Like I know with so much confidence, this is my desire. This is what I want. This is what I'm not settling for. I'm, I'm not selling for anything else. So if you could practice being a Coke girl, <laughs> uh, if you could practice being insert whatever drink, insert whatever preference, right? Whatever it is for you, uh, Starbucks bitch, I don't know. Um, we all got that thing, right? Have that confidence and do not fucking settle at all. Because maybe old Paige would have been like, oh, I guess like a Pepsi's fine. But even in that like scenario, if I were to say that, like I can feel that energy and low frequency. Like it's so low vibes. I'm not tolerating that shit anymore. It's Coke or go home. You know what I mean? So if there's ways that you can incorporate cork Coke theory in your day-to-day life, I really encourage it. I really hope that, you know, whether it's Coca-Cola or something else, like where in your life can you step into your power? Where in your life can you advocate for yourself a little bit more clearly and communicate your needs to other people, whether that's strangers, colleagues, your partner? How can you step into being that Coke, that Coca-Cola bitch or guy, whatever, um, whatever demographic this is that you're listening to this episode, step into that power, know what the fuck you want and do not settle until you get it. That's the Coke theory. You're fucking welcome. Cheers. Thanks so much for listening to Paige's Lessons with me, Paige Mitchell. You can find me on several social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all using the same handle at pagemitchell.coach. Got any questions about the show? Send me an email at connect at pagemitchell.coach located in the show notes. And if you really like the show, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're listening to this so you don't miss an episode. Please make sure to leave a rating and review because I love hearing your observations, takeaway, and personal journey. Remember, every day provides a lesson. You got this.